DB context is the most important concept in entity framework core application. And in this video, we will set up this DB context in this ASP.NET Core web API app. Let's start this procedure by creating a new folder with name data. You can place this file anywhere. And inside this data folder, we will be creating a new class. The name is going to be app db context.cs. This is a very simple class and the name is going to be this app db context. We have to make this class special by inheriting it from the db context. And this db context is coming from this Microsoft.entity framework core package. While setting up this db context class, we have to pass some options. And these options are the details that tell this entity framework core db context that where is our database, what configurations we are using with that database. All these settings are defined in these options. So by using the primary constructor, we can pass all these options from our application context to the main db context class. Now we will not make any further change in this db context. We will come to this later. But first, let's register it in our program.cs. And we can do that by using this builder.services. There is a method add db context over here. And we will be using that add db context. And we will define our this newly created app db context class. So let's use this app db context method. And inside this one, we will pass this app db context. Because we are working with this SQL server, so we are already getting this IntelliSense. We will be using this use SQL server. If you are using some other database, then you will get the similar methods over there. And we have to resolve the namespace by using this Microsoft.entity framework core. This is the place where we are reading this connection string. And this connection string ideally will come from this app settings. You should not use the hard coded connection string in your application because it could be different based on the environment. So the best place is use the app settings file. And here you can define your connection string. Let's get few classes over here. And based on these classes, we will create some tables in our database. 